I want to show you how you can track dynamic values with events that you set up using Pixel Your Site. Uh, that's Pixel Your Site Professional and uh, something we call the Super Pack. It's an extra add-on that comes with advanced and uh, agency licenses, but also with our bundle deal. So uh, sometimes you need to fire your own events for some reason. The events uh, that Pixel Your Site uh, fires automatically are not enough. Uh, you can't use our signal event to track some action and you want to fire your own events. In this case, you have um, the option to use dynamic values for some uh, event parameters. And I will show you how it works and I will insist um, on a new feature that we have that allows you to uh, track and use uh, URL tags or URL parameters as um, values for your event parameters. Uh, let's start and you will see what I mean. Okay, so this is Pixel Your Site a Professional. In order to um, configure new events, you have to go here, events. <clears throat> okay, add. I'll give uh, a name for your internal use. I will um, call this uh, event parameters. And you have various triggers you can use. Uh, you have page visit and with two condition, URL contains or URL, URL match. Um, or URL contains, you can use keywords. Uh, URL match, you, you must use the exact URL when you want your event to fire. Um, you can fire uh, events on uh, clicks, when someone clicks on a HTML link, uh, clicks on uh, CSS selectors, basically you can target any clicks on a, an element on the page. Um, mouse over CSS selectors, page scroll and post type. Uh, for this example, I will use uh, page visit and um, I will fire this event on every page of the website. So I will use um, uh, URL contains and the website name. Now, once you have the trigger um, configured, you have uh, these uh, options here and you can enable the event for each of the tags you have installed. Uh, using Pixel Your Site. In my case, I will fire this event for Facebook. It will work on um, with the Facebook Pixel and with Facebook Conversion API event. So we send it both ways. And I want it to be a custom event. I will use the same name as here. Okay, and let's stop right here for now because I want to show you that Pixel Your Site already uh, adds some uh, parameters by default to all your events and you can see this right now okay so this is the new uh, event as i said it will fire on every page containing outside here so basically on every page at the website uh, and there are already some parameters for example page title user role event url that URL right here, uh, event time, which tracks the um, visitor's browser time, which might be interesting because it's different from your uh, server's time, uh, plugin, uh, landing page. This is the landing page tracked for uh, that user. So if I uh, start the session on a different page, not on this one, the value will be different from the event URL. So the landing page is tracked and uh, uh, added as a parameter. Uh, post type, post ID, month, and traffic source. I was uh, a direct visitor, so I have direct here. Okay, so that event, without me adding anything, already has some parameters that might be useful. Now, you can do more, and you can uh, add other parameters as well. Go back to the event, add parameters, and simply um, name, give give the parameter a name and a value. If you want to use, uh, I don't know, a fixed value is possible. It can be something and anything you want to, to track for this event, but you can also use uh, dynamic values. And here is the list with possible dynamic values. Some of them are already tracked by default, ID, title, content type, categories, tags, and you also have total for WooCommerce and it will track the orders total if it's available on that page and subtotal. Again, it will track 
um, subtotal if it's av available on that page uh, and it works for WooCommerce and easy digital downloads. But the event that the parameters that I want to explain with more details it, is this one. Uh, basically it allows you to track uh, URL tags or URL parameters from your uh, URL and use them as uh, parameters for your event. Sorry for using parameters that that many times, but that's that's the terminology. Uh, so how it works? Let me show you. Uh, let's go back to the website and I will add a parameter to this URL. So let's uh, use, I don't know, term equal one, two, three. And what I want to track is this value right here, one, two, three. Okay, how am I going to do it? I have to use this structure. So it's, let's give it a name, parameter, and it will be URL and term. Okay, so I will, um, try to identify this parameter and use that value for the event. This is the, the way you can do it. And let's save. Okay. Now I want to visit this particular page, this URL with uh, uh, the URL tag or URL parameter that I want to track. And let's see if the event now has the new parameter and it does it's right here parameter and one two three now if the URL of your page doesn't have this value so it's it's a different URL the event will not have that parameter at all okay there is no parameter parameter here so um, yeah this is how you can um, track um, URL tags and use them as events parameter. It's very simple. Uh, in order for this to work, you need Pixel Your Site Professional. Let me show you. So you need Pixel Your Site Professional and something that we call the Super Pack. Super Pack, it's okay. So this is uh, Pixel Your Site Professional and this is the Super Pack. So it's a different plugin or add on that comes with our uh, advanced and uh, agency licenses or with the bundle deal. The Super Pack has other features as well. I will make some videos about how to use, uh, uh, how to add multiple tags, like multiple Facebook pixels or multiple Google Analytics. We are working right now on an improvement and expanding that option. So it's an interested, interesting uh, package. And you, if you have a Pixel Site Professional Advanced or Agency, you already have it, so this is how you can use it.